how do we make an awesome animation like this that has a speech bubble where our character can talk because Pivot doesn't do sound, okay? That's one of its limitations. But how do we do this speech bubble? Well, it's pretty easy. Student showed this to me. Um, you're gonna go to pixelspeechbubble.com. You can also just Google online speech bubbles and there's a couple websites. This is the one I like the best. You're gonna type in a message. Uh, I love Pivot, maybe, P-I-V-O-T. And then you're gonna have the spike go to the left or the right, and you're not gonna select animated. And you're gonna click create. Okay, and then it's gonna give you a download option. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna copy the image. You can also click download and it will give you an option to download it to your computer. Um, in this case, we have to do something to it first to make it work properly and pivot so that it looks like this. So I'm gonna use paint.net. You can use any video editing program. I'm gonna go file, new. I'm going to say, OK, it's going to automatically make it the right size of the speech bubble. Hit Control V for paste or edit paste. And then there it is. Now, there's one more step. You're going to create. Uh, actually, I don't even know if you need to create a new background. Let's just try this. I'm going to pick a color that's sort of close to black, but not exactly black. I'm going to go to a dark blue color. Any dark color will work. I'm going to click, click the paint bucket tool. And I'm going to just paint right there. And it's going to fill that color around my bubble. And I'm going to save it, save as. And you should save this if you're one of my students to your computer and your H drive and put it inside your, I, either your pivot folder or your paint folder. Since we're doing this as a pivot project, you can save it in there. And I'm going to call it I Love Pivot Speech Bubble. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to click Save. It's a PNG. It's important that it's a PNG. If it's not a PNG, fix that. OK, now I'm going to go back to pivot. And let's see if that worked. File, load sprite image, not load background, because that'll make it the background. Load sprite image. And then I will navigate to my computer, my H drive, wherever I saved it. Hopefully I actually remember where I saved it. And it was called, I love Pivot Speech Bubble. <laughs> Open. There we go. And there's my speech bubble, and look at that. It's got a solid white background behind it. It's not see-through, but the rest of it is see-through. And of course, you can animate it so that it moves uh, if you want it to fly in. I usually just have the speech bubble appear and then disappear. Another thing for those of you that are animating, oh, I'm not recording. Am I recording? Oh, I'm, I am recording. <laughs> oh, good. OK, another thing is to make sure um, you give people long enough to read it. Uh, this is a big mistake people make when um, adding speech bubbles. You, you only put it on for like three or four frames and uh, you really need it on the screen for about three seconds. And if it's a longer message, you need it on even longer. I suggest having shorter phrases like I love pivot and then I hope you like pivot too as their own speech bubble. And um, I would suggest hitting the space bar. I would just, you know, 10, 20, 30 times so that it's on the screen long enough for people to read. Your character should still be moving during that time if they're, you know, everything shouldn't be totally still. But uh, anyway, that's how you add a speech bubble. I hope that's helpful and enjoy.